Docking stations. These are very handy if your laptop and MacBook have very limited ports available on it. And docking stations provides extra ports for triple monitor setup, adding M.2 SSDs, extra USB and USB Type C ports, micro SD card port, DP port, LAN port, etc. So, which is the best docking station? So, here is 18 in 1 docking station by Blitzwolf. So in this video, I'm going to review this docking station and I will show you how this is important for your laptop, MacBooks and even for your desktop PCs. So this is Amir Hussain and you are watching Trick I Know YouTube channel. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. So this is the 18 in 1 docking station by Blitzwolf. This docking station is specially made for laptops and MacBooks which have Thunderbolt port or USB type C port. But unfortunately I don't have any laptop with Thunderbolt port right now. So I will use my PC's Thunderbolt ports to demonstrate this product. So let's begin the video with the quick unboxing. Once you order the product, you will receive a box like this. Now I'm going to unbox this box with my unboxing knife. So here is the original box guys. This is model BWTH13. Let's open it up. First it have the docking station itself, type C USB cables and a user manual. We got two USB type C Thunderbolt cable with it. This is for general devices and this is for MacBooks which have double Thunderbolt ports like this. In the MacBook cable we got a grip to hold it like this. The grip is not available in the single cable and the length of the each cable is 1 meter. Now here is our docking station guys. The body material of this dock is metallic from all the sides. Look wise it looks great. We have all the useful daily use ports are in the front side and in the back we have all the connectivity ports. In the top side we have a plastic door with the Blitzwolf logo. Inside this door you will find a M.2 SATA SSD slot so you can use this dock as an external hard drive. And in the bottom side we have two stopping rubbers and some space for ventilation. Now guys let's see how to set it up. First of first I am going to install a M.2 SATA SSD on it. To do so all you have to do just remove the top cover of this dock. Now remove this tiny lock from there. Now gently plug your M.2 SATA drive straight to the slot. Now attach the lock to the SSD and press it to lock it down. Now close the door to secure it from the dust. Now to power up the dock, here you have to see USB-C1 and USB-C2. The main power port is USB-C2 which will work on all general laptops and PCs. USB-C1 is only a add-on power which will work on the MacBook devices. So I am going to use the single cable to connect it on my PC. Once you connected it to your PC or laptop, the blue LED will start to indicate. And also you will get notified in the system because the M.2 SSD is installed on it. In case you are using a new SSD and it's not detected, right click on this PC and click on manage. Now go to the disk management and here you will find your SSD. In default, all new hard drives are unallocated. You have to format it to use. Just right click on it and then select new simple volume. Now follow the wizard, click on next. Keep default values if you don't want partition and click next. Now select your drive letter and click next. Don't change anything here and click on next. Now click on finish. It will format your drive and now you can use your drive. Now let's take a look at the front ports of the dock. You can connect multiple devices in the front side of this dock such as USB drives, cards and your smartphones etc. Here I am connecting my smartphone to the USB 3.0 port. Here is a card reader. Here is a USB drive. 
here is my camera sdhc card a micro sd card which will go here and here is my sandisk usb type c pen drive which will go to the usb type c port there is also an audio jack in the front side and the best thing is you can use both 3.5 mm 3 pole or 4 pole headphones or earphones so if you have a headphone like this which have 4 poles 3.5 mm jack if you don't know this audio jack works on laptops and macbooks with microphone but not in pc but if you are using this dock on your pc now you can use your headphone with the working microphone so these are the useful ports in the front side you can use So guys now it's time to check the transfer speed. So once you plugged into your PC or MacBook, this dock will detect all the cards, pen drives and, and SSD installed on it. So here as you can see this is my smartphone connected to the dock. Here is the western digital SSD. This is my 32GB USB drive plugged into the USB 3.0 port. This is my USB type C SanDisk pen drive. And here is my camera card. Inside the card I have some video footage recorded from my camera. Let's check the copy speed. So from the camera card to my C drive which is my NVMe drive. It is giving around 80 Mbps speed with the file size of 800 MB. Let me reverse copy the file from my C drive to the SSD. Here it is. And it is giving around 250 megabytes which is very huge now let's reverse copying the file to my usb type c pen drive here it is giving 30 mbps from my desktop now here is a 4 gigabyte file on my usb type c pen drive let's copy it to the desktop and here it is giving 135 mbps speed it seems there is no problem plugging in so many items in the dock and the transfer speeds are great. Now guys take a look at the back ports of the dock. In the back we have two 2.0 extra USB ports. We can use our mouse keyboard dongle bluetooth adapter etc here. And here we have three HDMI ports to set up triple monitor setup which I am going to show you next in the video. More we have a DP port here, a single ethernet port, you can connect LAN cable to it. And we have also a PD 3.0 charger which provides 100 watts. Now guys let me show you how to set up triple monitor setup on this dock. If you are going to set up in your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, just use the MacBook cable provided with the dock. It will work without any problems on macbook but if you look at the pc's thunderbolt port this is not going to plug in because the ports in the pc are different from the cable so to set up it on pc like me all you have to do just use the single cable provided with the dock in additional you have to find an another single cable to set up triple monitor it's a general usb type c to type c cable i will put the link in the video description so once you plug those cable to the dock now plug them to the both port of the pc here i connected the cables to the thunderbolt ports now power up the main monitor you want to display on the dock plug the hdmi cable from the monitor to the hdmi port 1 of the dock like this now power up the secondary monitors you want to connect with the dock now the hdmi cables from the secondary monitors goes in the hdmi 2 and hdmi 3 of this dock so this is just what you need to do and now enjoy
So guys here our triple monitor setup has been done and now you can do multitasking work from this setup. You can see I can move the video through the monitors. My primary monitor is a 4K monitor and the secondary monitors are 1080p. So guys this setup is completely going to change your workflow. You can do editing, reading and many multitasking works. So this 18 in 1 docking station is really useful you can check the product link in the video description so guys that was my video on this 18 in 1 docking station hope you enjoyed this video if you really enjoyed give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my youtube channel for more content like this thanks a lot for watching guys see you in my next one